measuring the surface of mercury by doing a time of flight measurement with light. So light has a speed of 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second roughly and the measurement device had a temporal resolution of about 1 to 2 nanoseconds. So that's in the gigahertz range so it's exactly what nowadays one can easily provide within a rough environment like next to Mercury in, a, in an orbiter. So having said that, even with the, those best conditions, only using time of flight, meaning the, the, the speed of light and the maximum, the minimum time interval we have, we get an error of about 30 centimeters. That's nearly half a meter and that's that's a big error, actually. Imagine you are go going on the surface of Mercury. Suddenly there is a wall half a meter high. Including all measurement influences, we have a, a, a measurement error of about plus minus two meters for that orbiter. And now imagine you are walking on the surface of Mercury and you're hitting a wall which is two meters high or even three meters high. That makes some difference. So the error is important even for very, very high-end measurements. Perhaps especially for them to give a rough idea why those measurements are high-end because the error is the thing which defines the quality of your measurement. That's another fact one should know about. Okay, now let's define something about the error. 